Hello, Cale hey, Turner. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, your first time as, as, a, as a head coach, what was tonight's experience like for you and just overall thoughts on the game? Uh, it's not uh, exactly the first one, <laughs> but yeah, first one with, uh, with Utah. Um, and um, no, obviously, like I said, I'm very proud, proud of, the, of the effort today. Um, we showed good things. We created a lot of chances, but we couldn't score. And unfortunately, we, we lost the game. But um, overall, yeah, overall, good night. Um, we have to to keep going. Uh, we have to, to keep the heads up because we have a, a difficult week who's coming uh, soon. So, yeah, no, overall, good night. And let's raise it. You went down 2-0 at halftime, including a, a, a penalty. Seems like a common theme for the team this year, a lot of penalties. Um, but what was your message to the team at halftime? Uh, don't ask the player. <laughs> uh, I, was, I was very, very hard on them um, because I think we can do better with them. Uh, you know, we have a young team. Uh, we work hard every single day. And you can see the progression uh, from the beginning and right now. But if we can delay that little mistakes that we are doing, especially in the first half. They didn't create many chances. We create a lot of chances. We couldn't score. But we let them score. And very easily, uh, the cross uh, arrived because we step one on one. Uh, this is what we didn't want to do. Uh, we were late. And it was a chain, you know, late and late and late and late. They had the ball on the side. Good cross. Only one player in the box. And the score is a mistake. Is a mistake, uh, and then obviously the penalty. So I was very, very mad because of that. It was it was something that we we could um, I would say uh, stop, you know. Uh, so yeah, I was very hard on them, and I said to them, "This is another game that we're gonna leave the game with regret." Like we had few games like that already, and I said to them, "Not today, not today." Uh, so we. We fixed some detail that we needed to improve for the second half. And for me, the, the message was more about getting them ready, compete, suffocate them. And this is what we, we, we have done in the second half. How many times Angel City went in our half? I asked my video analyst to, to check because not too many. We were more aggressive, we were front-footed, uh, and they couldn't find the solution. So yeah, unfortunately, we, we lost. but. I'm very proud of them. Coach, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I very much agree. The press tonight seemed to be doing wonders and was disrupting Angel City. Yeah. It was very effective, especially in the first half. Mm -hmm. How do you balance that, though, when you have those speedy attackers like Alyssa Thompson and others who do get those opportunities to have those fast breaks and put a perfect cross yeah. in for LaRue? So this is what's happened in the first half. You know, if you let them have two or three yards, uh, they are fast. They are good on the ball. So my message was be tight on them. Active defending has to be excellent. Because if you let, let them turn, they arrive 1v1, they push the ball, and they are very fast. Second half, they couldn't do that. Coach, I want to ask you about Donna's goal, obviously, and, and, and kind of how that started. Um, but maybe more in particular, Ali's setup was just a thing of wonder. It feels like really good things tend to happen when she's on the ball. Is that a fair assessment? You mean Ali on the ball? Ali, Ali's on the ball. Yeah, you know, she's a, she's a defense maker. So when she receives the ball, something can happen. And this is what we ask to her, you know, when you have the ball, don't hesitate, especially in the final turn. You are very creative, go, go, go 1v1, try something. Uh, yeah, and we try to get more from her. Uh, when she's coming inside and she shoot, we try to get a little bit more, but obviously it's a, it's a key player for us. Do you, you talked about some of the second half adjustments because of that. Do you feel like that goal helped them realize that like, it's working, keep going, kind of gave them a little bit of confidence, I guess? Yeah, it was my message. If you score one goal, they're going to feel it. And they feel it, right? <laughs> so, and then we try, we try, we try, we create chances. Uh, I think the goalkeeper had the great game today. I don't like to say, to say that, but the, uh, yeah, the opponent goalkeeper had a, had a good game. So, yeah. Hi, Coach. Uh, it's Aimel Garner. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, I would like to ask you about uh, Olivia Griffiths. Uh, she was responsible on, on both goals. 
uh, first on the 101 uh, against uh, Alisa Thompson mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and the penalty also. Uh, how she was on, on the half time because it's complicated for a rookie uh, being on those kind of games but uh, the coach also is responsible to of course help her on yeah. these kind of things personally i have nothing against her you know uh, she arrived she found the spot she's doing more good things than bad things obviously she's young that kind of mistake we can delay them and i think with the time and with the experience you know she won't do that that kind of mistakes anymore but uh, i have nothing against her she played a very good game she made few mistakes like all the players we made mistakes as a coach i made mistake as well o um, overall i will say i'm very pleased with what she's doing right now so far and also um, the substitutions don't you think that uh, the substitutions were made a little bit late on the game because we're talking that in the mi in the midfielder they were good but the forwards were um, doing a little bit of mistakes so don't you think that the it's, it's, not mistakes. it's not mistakes i'm not agree with you because we created chances and we had the momentum so as a coach if you make a sub maybe you cut the momentum so this is something that we need to think so we need to score but there is also momentum so if you had a player right now and you cut the momentum the time the subs arrive and maybe the player who's coming doesn't feel it the same way than the player on the field you cut the momentum. So you have to be smart with the subs. We had the momentum, we created chances, we didn't score goal. And I was talking with Maris, the assistant coach with me, and we were like, we need to score, we need to score. We had the momentum. She said, yeah. Um, so we, f we also looked the numbers, the load of the, of, for, for the players. Anna was a little bit too much. She make lot, made a lot of run. So we were thinking, okay, maybe because she made too much run, she won't make the, the, the last run, the run that we need or when she's going to arrive in front of the goal, she will be exhausted and not the right posi body positioning. So we made the choice to, to put Kem full of energy. She knows what she needs to do. And we didn't cut the momentum because at that time we had a break. So it's always, when you do subs, you have to think about the team or we are right now, the time of the, of the, of the game and momentum. And I think we made a good choice uh, on the subs. We didn't score, so we can say maybe not. But uh, overall, I, I don't think so. Thank you. Alex, anything from you? Perfect. All right, thanks, Brad. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you.